In this week's parish, we read of the story of the Kriyas Yamsov and the Shiras Hayam, which B'nai Yisrael sang when they crossed the sea. One of those beautiful psukim tells us, This is my God, and I will, I will glorify him. I'm the God of my fathers, and I will exalt him. And the Gemara points out in Mesech Shabbos that Zekei was the source of the idea of Hidr Mitzvah. Whatever Mitzvah I do, I'm supposed to do it in the most beautiful way that I possibly can, which means I'm supposed to invest my own and inject my own individuality, my own personality into that mitzvah, beautify the mitzvah, do something that you think makes it look prettier or nicer. The Pazik then continues, but it's also the God of my fathers and I will exalt him. Um, Rashi points out, means, I'm not the start of all the Kedusha, rather it's Muchzekes Ve'omedesli. Kedush is found and embedded in me from the times of my ancestors and my forefathers. We, on the one hand, need to express ourselves in the mitzvot that we keep, all the while keeping in mind the moreshet and the heritage that we have from the previous generations from our ancestors. This week we also know we're celebrating the Chag and the Yom Tov of Tu Bishvat, the Chag Ilanot, the Rosh Hashanah and the Ilanot. Here in Israel we celebrate Tu Bishvat in a practical sense, in terms of the mitzvot, tatulios, ba'aretz, and all the different mitzvot that are related to trees, etc. But in the general world, we know that Tu Bishvat is looked at as a more spiritual-oriented focus. Ha'adam eitz asad, a person is compared to a tree. A tree in halach is something that has roots in the ground and reproduces its fruit on a yearly basis. The concept of that, adam eitz asad, that a person is like a tree, is that exactly we read over here in this parasha. We always have to remember that we're meant to imbue every act of Avodah Hashem with our own personality, our unique take on things. But all the while remembering, Lo Ani Tchilas HaKedusha, it doesn't start for me, it's Muchzekes, it's something that I have embedded inside of me, Mi Yemei Avosai. Individuality on the one hand, always keeping an eye on the framework of our Moreshet and our Mesorah of our ancestors and those that came before us. In Mirat Hashem, we should have a wonderful, meaningful Tu Bishvat, to grow in our Vodat Hashem, to inject ourselves and our personalities in all that we do. And Be'ez Hashem, we should see the Nisim of the Geula HaAsida similar to that of the Kriyas Yamsuf.